Hi, I'm John Cena, and this is everything I do in a day. <laughs> and my name's Cameron Doyle, and in order to get better at my life, um, I'm going to try everything that John Cena does in a day. <laughs> well done! <laughs> I wake up between the hours of 6 and 7 a.m. Currently just past 6.30. Um, I usually get up around this time, so this is no real big deal for me. Personally, snooze is the worst device ever invented. I personally agree. I think snooze sucks, mostly because it hinders a proper sleep. If you want to get a sleep in or you want to get up early, just be disciplined and get up when you need to get up the first alarm. Easy as that. Soon, in about half an hour, I get to jump in the shower and then sort of begin my day. Looking forward to it. I immediately get into the shower. Shower number one. Check my phone after the shower and before I get dressed. I also think that's a pretty massive trend between like celebrities uh, not using your phone immediately in the uh, in the morning. I think it's about starting your day distraction free and doing the things you need to do early, get them done, and then be disciplined throughout the day. I think it was was it Jacko Jocko. What's that guy that gets up at 4:30 a.m. Let's say you're the most ultra motivated guy in the world. When that alarm clock goes off, there's at least 50 percent of the time where you just that that soft little pillow is just caressing your head and you want to stay there and it takes discipline to go nope i'm going to get up out of this bed and i'm going to do what i'm supposed to do and that discipline that you have at that moment you win that fight that's a big victory and then that 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 pattern will carry out throughout the day that guy to a lesser aggressive ideation i think that's the reason why people do it i think that's the reason why people don't use their phone in the mornings immediately Plus all the blue light hitting your eyes first thing. Not good. I usually have a protein shake, which is made up of one cup of milk, one cup of water, two scoops of protein, or I have a mixture of four scrambled eggs, Swiss cheese, bacon, and some sort of sauteed vegetable. Or the remaining bit of my berry yogurt. Yum, yum, yum. During breakfast, it's more like a morning conference where I review what's going on for the day, meetings or business I may have. I get that out of the way and I prepare for. This is me just listening to a podcast. How good. My workout consists always first of warm up. Just got to the gym. Um, it is now nine o'clock and I'm ready to work out after I have my one hour of warm up. Are you joking? One hour? At my age, I have to get the body ready for motion. So it's about 45 to an hour of warm up. That's what big guy Cena does. Get to work. Just did the one hour warm up. Holy Lord. Feeling good. Then I go to work. The days are split four days of the week. Two lower body, full body days, two upper body, full body days. Um, I didn't get a 45 minute workout in because I feel like I wore myself out from the one hour warm up. Bloody dickhead. I shower after the gym because honestly I do work up a nice sweat and funk. It's now time for a post workout shower, um, which means it's sour, <coughs> sour, which means it's sour number two. <laughs> I get in my car and go to the next point of business, whether that be returning home on a rare occasion or going to the next uh, meeting place of business. Um, it is at this time where John Cena drives places. I'm now driving. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm headed somewhere, I assume. He never was specific of where I need to drive. Is that, did I say that right? Specific? Specific, yeah. Specific. I'm driving. If I do listen to anything, I listen to NPR because I feel like it's a way for me to think and I feel as if they're open-minded enough to give me views they want on topics but also to make me come to my own conclusion. The only podcast that I listen to is the Tiny Meat Gang podcast with Cody Coe and Noelle Miller. I think it's hilarious. Um, I've been following them both for a very, very long time. So I listen to that. <laughs> She's like, oh, hell no. <laughs> it's always kind of time to eat. The meals are spread out on three hour intervals. For some reason I didn't eat at that time. I don't really know why, because I have the whole schedule printed out uh, meticulously um, so I can follow it. 
um, but didn't do it on the day that I did this. Okay. I am always trying to maintain some sort of activity. If errands fall in my lap, I will run them. According to the schedule now, it is my time to go and run some errands. Um, I only have one errand to run, and that is going to the post office to pick up a modem. So I can refresh my modem um, because it's expired, apparently, according to the Telstra man. So here we go. Go. When did the internet get so bulky? For leisure, um, I actually like to just keep my mind going. I'm learning a second language. I try to study Mandarin uh, if I can. J'étudie le français à l'université d'Adelaide pour une année en danse. Uh, I don't know how to say 2015. Shit! Um, I have a friend who watches my videos sometimes. He's at Laraco on Instagram and he speaks French as his first language. Sir, please tell me how you say 2015 in French. And then that can finish the end of that sentence. But my uh, leisure time at the moment is uh, playing basketball. I've been trying to do that a couple of times a week. So this is what I do. I try not to take a lot of phone calls during the day. I know phone calls are filled with conversation and sometimes conversation can get away from you. So I try to prioritize what is this person's agenda? What would they like? And if it constitutes a call, I will call them. Jamie, you hate phone calls as well, eh? Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm a person that enjoys phone calls. I'd rather make the call and have a quick three to five minute conversation and get all of it uh, to get everything I needed to get done from that conversation done. It's kind of like a meeting, but also just a quick source of information. And then I keep continuing on with my day. So um, don't agree with Johnny Boy Cena there, unless I'm at uh, actually a place of work, uh, like a nine to five, which I do a couple of times a week. Then I won't take any phone calls because I'm at work. I call my mom often because that's the person I don't mind spending a lot of my time talking to. Hello. Hello, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm currently filming a thing for John Cena's uh, Everything He Does in a Day, and it told me to call my mum, so I'm calling mum. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> the food before the food, as in the meal before dinner, would simply constitute, again, of two scoops of protein, two cups of water, or a small protein bar. It is time for the meal before the meal. Um, currently, the meal before the meal that is being enjoyed is a cup of soup. Cream of mushroom. Tastes better than it looks. Usually I get home at around 5 or 6 or 7 p.m. And around that time, I officially end my day. Honey, I'm home. This is uh, terribly set up and uh, I've been at home all day um, other than what you've seen me go and do. So this is when he comes home, so I have to come home now. Honey, I'm home. I choose if I'm so lucky to be in the company of my bride-to-be. That is the start of our day. Although I heard that they broke up, which is, which is kind of sad. We usually have someone else prepare, and I can say if this is ordering takeout, or on the rare occasion where we're hosting, we have someone come to the house and prepare. It is now past seven o'clock, which means my official duties for the day have ceased, and it is a time where I spend it with um, not my soon-to-be wife, but my current girlfriend. <laughs> um, <laughs> That sounded a little bit more brutal than I thought it would. Um, but it is what it is. So we've decided to have pizza because the health can go on a pause for this evening. That's fine. Um, anyways, uh, we do this for a few hours before we go to bed at 11 p.m. According to the John Cena schedule. Okay. Can you stop burping? <laughs> This is where time escapes me and this is where um, I don't necessarily watch the clock. It's like being in a casino. We could go to dinner at 7 p.m. and walk out of a restaurant at one in the morning. I normally get into bed 
I would safely say around 11 o'clock. I do not wear anything to bed. What's with everyone's obsession of sleeping naked? I don't get it. Wear some underwear or something. Keep everything a bit more constricted in the best way possible. If you're too loosey-goosey, you don't know what fluids you're spilling out into the sheets. That, that's, it sounded a bit more sus than I uh, had anticipated. I will average uh, for like a five day stretch between one and four hours of sleep. And then on day six, I will sleep for eight hours, sometimes possibly 12 hours, and then repeat the cycle again. I would say that I average between five and seven hours of sleep uh, per night, which is a lot better than John Cena's one to four hours of sleep. I'm definitely learning as I grow older that sleep is more important than just hustle porn. In life, nothing is given away. Nothing is handed to you. You work hard and you earn every inch. I enjoy sleep a little bit more than I used to because I'm more energized and therefore can be consistent with the schedules that I implement um, on a more daily basis as opposed to a massive day of hustle and then just being screwed for the next three days. It's not good for you. So yeah, looking at John Cena's schedule, stuff I loved was uh, waking up at a time that's actually reasonable. When I did Terry Crews' schedule last, it was at 4.45 a.m. It's not a long-term thing that I would implement waking up at 4.45. I've done it in the past and it absolutely sucks because um, I like doing a little bit of work at night, getting uh, a few things done before I go to sleep and I don't want to have to go to sleep at like 7.30 eight o'clock in order to be energized for the next day. I also really enjoyed uh, the morning conference that he does every morning where he keeps up with uh, news or current affairs um, and all that sort of stuff and not having his phone on him for the first basically hour and a half, two hours uh, of him waking up. The best way to be productive I think throughout your day is start on a productive foot and doing that without a phone around you and um, providing distraction is so good. So good. And like I said before, with the blue light going in your eyes, especially in a dark room, so bad for you. So that's it. That's John Cena's schedule. I'll be making a few more of these as time progresses. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you very, very soon. Trying to post twice a week or every couple of days. Tell your friend that I exist. Please help me grow a little bit more. Mwah.